budget for the migrants. And he expected Biden to cut that check and as like reimbursement. And then Biden team said like, no, we're not cutting that check. Do not call us again about this. We're not cutting you a billion dollars for the migrants because we cut we cut you guys a billion. All the other police people call us for, for money. So they can't cut this guy a billion. That's why I think in Chicago, they spent like $50 million on that. They, they just spent like $150 million or a billion dollars. They spent like $50 million a month because of it. It takes like $51 million. That's why in Chicago, the blacks in Chicago, they got upset at the mayor, the, the politician, because they're like, you spending millions of dollars on the migrants. We're not giving money to us. The thing is that don't a lot of migrants end up becoming like right wingers? Yeah. But what's going on with that, the situation is most of the time, they're not going to vote right wing. They will never vote right wing. What's going on is this is, about, uh, uh, this is the thing about Adams, and I want to talk about this right now. It's about, it's about non citizen voting. I want to, can I bring this up? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so what going forward with that with non citizen because somebody called me and say, can you, and I, I, I made a thread about this recently on Twitter, just this morning to be exact. Just put that in the title where you get a chance, non-citizen voting. And I'm going to talk about this right now about non-citizen voting. Now, majority of migrants that come over, they're Hispanic, right? Let's keep it 100%. They're Hispanic. The main core is Latino. They're Hispanic. Okay. You have some Somalians. You have some Muslims. But the main target of the migrant crisis are the Hispanics. They come from Guatemala, Ecuador, and they come to Mexico. And the main core is Hispanic, right? So that's what's going on. Now, with the non-citizen voting... This is the thing about about people who talk about all oh, the conservative. This is nothing because that was the case. This the state, the city, been Republican, especially in the 37th district, and the 34th district, and the 53rd semi district, and the 54th semi district, and the uh, the seventh congressional district because the seventh congressional district is ran by um, what's her name, um, Nini Velasquez, and we could talk about the 14th district run by AOC. The 30, it's a lot of districts that have a lot of Latinos and they usually don't have papers, like legal papers. They're not supposed to be here because that was a case if they're right wingers or they vote right wing, this all the state, the city of Republican. So, but what's going on with non citizen voting is this is the best time they could capitalize on this for 2025. And this is why, and we could that people should go against this right? non citizen voting because. If this happens and if Eric Adams don't peasy people, he's going to get voted out. Now, what's going on is uh, with non-citizen voting, basically that's what it is. They're trying to put this law to where that people that can't vote because they're not citizens are able to vote in the city council races, the city city elections for here on going forward. So if, you not, if you're not a U.S. citizen, you could vote in city count the city elections, New York City based elections. Not in the state assembly, not state senate, but talking about city council, public advocate, mayor, borough president, borough president, and um, controller, and, and etc. So, what goes on with non citizen voting? And people said this is the biggest sham for the progressives, and the progressives know that whoever that these organizations tell those guys and gals to vote for, they're going to get the big advantage in the races. Now, the main organization that's pushing this initiative is called the New York Immigration Coalition. That's ran by Murad Abwin. He's a Muslim guy. And the New York Immigration Coalition is a powerful nonprofit. It's a powerful nonprofit. they based in policy. They do a lot of policy. And is they're the main... With, is that also with Dilip Neff? No, I don't think so. Not, not Dilip no, Neff. That's Dilip okay. Neff they have a Dilip different Neff. immigrant thing. Yeah. Okay. Called Neff. All right, cool. All right. Month. Yeah, the lab is they what about Eric Boldenauer? Isn't he also involved with some immigration stuff? I don't think so. He's a lawyer. He's a he's an election lawyer. Yeah, but he does some immigration work as well. Or he's yeah, like, yeah, 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 so, yeah. Basically, yeah. So the NYIC, yeah, they they run the non-citizen voting. They run that initiative for non-citizen voting. Now, this is what people don't understand, right? Um, if this goes their way, whoever the NYIC tells the people to vote for, they're gonna vote for them. Now, this could put a lot of elected officials in a lot of fear of the NYIC because if they're in a district where they know that if they ran against a progressive, like a crazy progressive person, and they lost their race by like 2% 2 or 3% or 5%. Now, if the non-citizens could take 10% of the vote or 50% of that vote 
carry over 15 to 20 percent of the vote and they come out and vote in so, that next election i also see a lot of spanish people around make the road yeah, that's another organization I want to talk about right now is Make the Roll. There's a lot of organizations that be behind that's gonna be behind this. And they're gonna be helping engineering that non citizen voting. Now, like I said before that, before we get into that right now, if make the roll if let's say if they carry twenty percent of the vote in a district and they and NYC backs up the that progressive over the incumbent because the incumbent don't wanna do what the do what NYC tells them to do, they could lose their job. Over that, especially mm-hmm. if their people don't follow. So going forward about the Make the Road New York, Make the Road New York, they do a lot of advocacy. They do a lot of actions. They they be at a lot of events and they get their money that way. Now, the NYC has a big thing. I mean, the Make the Road is part of this. They're, they're going to be a big part of that with the voting, with the voting, with the electioneering of the non-citizens, Locomena. Worker Justice Project, um, they're the ones that run Los Libianistos, um, Nice for Workers, um, Abolish ICE New York, New Jersey, and Evision Freedom Fund. Basically, any organization that does with, that deal with immigration advocacy, they will be have a big say of how those non-citizen voters vote for in those elections if this if this was to be in law. That's definitely now, going down in the Asian community. That's what all that money is trying to go to go for and you'll notice that also another interesting phenomenon I'm not mad at yet ying tan uh but the fact of the matter is that she's actually uh not from she's not born here in the united states and mm-hmm. we can see that um a lot of the people who come up are the people uh people are more comfortable with someone who has an accent someone who is asian in the way that they understand what asian means so I don't want to take anything from Ying Tan at all. I am supporting Ying Tan. I think she's cool. I hope that she comes on for an interview. Um, you know, not saying I'm 100% behind her. I really don't know everything about her yet. But, uh, you know, she won the primary. Um, she's a pioneer in Asian Americans. I, I want to know more. Yeah. Yeah. So, so going for, yeah, So, yeah, yeah, you're right. So going forward to that, you know, people got to be against this. People talk about how Rebney, um, Rebney is corrupt. And I think they are crooked. You know, with the way they chuck they force elected officials to do certain things for them, and if they don't, they'll get the unions to run against them, like the carpenters, to go against them, and they lose their job, just like Charles Barron, or yeah. um, uh, mainly like um, what what I said, my, let me say my thread. I think I said Rebney, and let me see something. Got to go on this thing, Rebney. I think and... I read the article, and maybe you posted a link to an article where the thing is that people were complaining about. Um, they said that because they. I think they were using Asians. They said Asian American seniors couldn't speak English, that they needed someone to go into the booth with them to help them to vote and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, they do that. that They do that a lot. Yeah. Was that part of the nonsense in voting? Uh, Was that something you posted? No, no. Non-citizen voting is way different. So basically, non-citizen voting is like you just if you're not supposed to be here, you you can vote in these elections. Now you're gonna most of the time those guys can listen to like the the immigration-based nonprofit because they go to them for help. Now yeah. everybody knows mm-hmm. that nonprofits can't they can't electioneer. They cannot endorse candidates, but a lot of these nonprofits have actions. They'll call it actions, they'll call it funds, they'll call it the victory victory fund or PACs. Mm-hmm. But the PACs can endorse candidates. So if the PACs got the same email list or the same mailing list or the same or if they got these meetings, they could come in as the PAC and say, here. Here's a voter guide, guys. Vote for these guys because they care about the immigrants. They care about your guys' rights. Uh, if yeah. you vote for if you vote for these guys, they'll give you bigger cash assistance. They'll give you a bigger Section 8 package. They'll give you a bigger food stamp package. They'll give you every package you can. If you don't vote for them, they ain't gonna give you nothing. So those guys who not and gals that's that can't that that's, that's non-citizens, they gonna believe what the nonprofit tells them. Now it, it can happen to a lot of candidates that don't want to give. And, and usually, what happens with nonprofits like that is say, "Look, if you don't cut us this check, we're going to we're going to run people against you." They blackmail these politicians. They blackmail elected officials. If you don't cut us this check on your discretionary money, or you don't want to jump and cut this check in that in that de- that delegation, we're going to run people against you, and we're going to, we're going to get you out the door. Now, if like I said before, if you're elected, if you're an elected official. If you're elected official and you're running on that, and if you're and you know you won, the only reason you won, you won because of a, a, a small margin. 
you're a vulnerable candidate, especially in a Democratic primary. And you're in a majority Democratic district, you're a vulnerable candidate. That's why this people should go against this stuff. People need to be uh, going against it because if this happens, you're going to start seeing the dirty side of NYC, the real dirty side of NYC, and a lot of these nonprofits are going to suffer because they're going to be busy saying, now nah, we got to cut the shit to NYC because I don't want to lose my job. Instead of you cutting that money to a basketball nonprofit or you cut that money to the, the community center, you got to give $100,000 to, 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 to uh, the NYIC because you don't want to, you don't want a primary. Yeah, and they'll so control it's be the center and they'll control the jobs around it and then they'll have more of a machine and the machine will grow and they'll take the money and they'll give less and less back and uh, this is uh, needs to be uh, watched, yeah? So yeah, so people got to watch the stuff. It's just like this, like Brebney and Tremitate Alternatives, they they have their thing like, if you don't help us out, we're going to run people against you, we're going to vote you out. Mm -hmm. If the immigrate, if this happens with the non-citizen voting, we're screwed. Your city's going to be way, way worse position than we are right now. Way worse position than we are right now. Well, we'll see. We'll see, right? Yeah. All right, so um, let's... uh, the, Okay, so any, any other topics? Let me see the list over here. Um, oh, just so you know, too, um, you I think you told me about a bunch of these events. I, looking at your stuff over here, 